I'm not sure how this Copa Kappa thing is supposed to work. So just to be on the safe side, uh, before you watch this video, my recommendation is that nobody watches this. And that will keep me safe. Thank you for not watching. Hi, Russ. How can I help you today? I don't know. I got two voicemails when I got home to call this number about some kind of allegations. I don't know what. Maybe all you right. can tell me. Yeah, I can tell you. So, okay. first of all, uh, sir, yeah. may I know what? like what informations uh, did you receive? Just said serious allegations and legal actions. I don't know what they were talking about. All right. So before I go with any of that information, first of all, I need to verify your information so that I can pull over your information here. So can you help me out with your first name and your last name? First name's Kermit, K-E-R-M-I-T. K-E-R-M-I-T, right? Yes. And the last name, sir? D-F-R-O-G-G. D -E -F -R -O -G -G. D -E -E -F -O -R no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. D-E-F-R-O-G-G. -G. It's a D-E-F-R-O-G-G, -G, right? Right. Kermit right, so sir, can you help me out? Yeah, all right. So D frog, right? Right. All right, sir, sir, can you help me current mailing address and your zip code number? My zip code is 13118. 13118, right? Yeah. And can you help me out with the zip, uh, your mailing address? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. 100 Main Street? Moravia. New Moravia, New York, right? Right. That's right. All right. Okay. All right. So, sir, just hold on the line. Just give me a quiet moment so I can pull over your information over here in my system. All right? Yeah. And I will let you know okay. why there is any getting yep. calling right okay. back to okay. the bar. Go ahead. Hurry up. All right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for your patience, sir. No problem. All right. Thanks for being connected. Uh, Mr. Uh, Defrog idea. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. I just got your information over here. So, first of all, sir, as I can see here in my card, the IRS is calling you to ascertain your attorney information that there is some serious allegations and a lawsuit has been filed under your name by the IRS. Perry, so are you aware of the Perry situation? Mason. Sorry? It's my lawyer, Perry Mason. So, how can I help you with that? You asked me, you said you called to see who my lawyer was, and I told you who my lawyer oh. was. No, no, sir, I'm just ask, telling you the information. What? This call is about your federal income tax. Right? right, but you said you were calling to find out who my attorney was, and I told you who my attorney is. No, sir, I didn't ask, I didn't ask your attorney name, sir. Yes, I'm okay, just calling okay, you to okay, okay. your attorney information. Uh, Perry that Mason, some... isn't that the information you need? Perry Mason, that's his name. I mean, what other information no, you need? Yes. There is a four serious allegations and a lawsuit has been filed under your name by the IRS. For what? For tax evasion and tax evasions. What's tax evasions? I don't know what that is. Tax evasion and tax fraud. All right? Huh? Because you huh? have been found as the primary suspect by taxes in the wrong way. File them the wrong. There's only one way to file them. Sorry? How can I file them the wrong way? There's only one way to file them. Yes, sir. The taxes that you filed does not match the tax record that we have. Well, I don't know how that could be. I have Ben and Jerry's do my taxes every year. They've been doing them for years. I don't even do them. I don't know how to do them. So, right now, sir, what is your main concern here? I don't have a main concern. Apparently, you do. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Yes, sir, just hold on the line, all right? Just all give me a quiet moment. All right. All right, sir, thanks for being connected. Yeah. So, sir, uh, for the poll, sir, uh, may I know that we need to file the last taxes? March of this year. All right, so for the poll, sir, see, we are not talking about this year. We are talking about the past five years, 2014 to 2018, all right? Okay. Because this, uh, this is a five-year standard audit for all over the United States citizen and yeah. right now sir we already audit on your tax filing and we found out the taxes that you filed from years of 
2014-18 does not match the tax record that we have. That's the reason, according to the courthouse, under section of 6331H, the outstanding amount which is pending under your name, that is $8,970, including penalty taxes, legal charges, and late fees, that's come up to $8,970. What, what's the actual tax owed? Your federal income tax. Right, I know the federal income tax. How much is actual mm -hmm. taxes, not counting the other stuff? The, it may be like less than, all right? Like what? It's, uh, it's, huh? it's about like uh, you have owed to the IRS, all right? That is $8,970, all right? Right, but you said that included penalties. I want to know what the taxes were, just the taxes alone. That you say I didn't pay. All right, that is like, uh, as I can see in my code, there's like uh, $4,000. Nine hundred and eighty-five dollars. Forty-nine eighty-five. So yeah, you, that's. So you charge me four thousand dollars in late fees. Does this yeah, seem late right? Fees, penal penalty taxes, late fee, and illegal charges. That's come up to eight thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars. That doesn't right? seem right to me. Well, I'm gonna have to get hold of Ben and Jerry's, I guess, and see what they did. See, sir, right now this is about you, right? But I don't do my taxes. Ben and Jerry's does it. See, sir, if you're hiring any third party to file the taxes, then we, the IRS, do not have any concern that whosoever filing your taxes. Because if there are any mistakes while well, they're filing your taxes, you are the one who's going to be responsible for that, okay? Then yeah, the but one. they'll also go with me to an audit. So that's what I, I want them no, for. Sir, they, they will come with me. So for the poll, sir, right now, see, what is the main concern? Do you want the more information, or you want to go ahead and post the information? What do you want me to do? What do you? What, what other information is there? You told me what I owe. What what other information is there? All right. So for the poster, do you have pen and piece of paper? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So for the poster, note it down. My first name. My first name is Andrew. Okay. And my last name is Backwood. You got it? Got it. And my federal ID number is 47973794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793794793
if you don't have any criminal records under your name with the IRS in the past. That's the reason IRS decided you to give it a second option, which is out of the courthouse. That means you will not face any kind of legal trouble. You don't need to hire any lawyer. We're going to help you out with how you can resolve this matter or how you can cancel well, your I'd like to see the paperwork. Uh, don't I get to see the audit you did? Don't I get to see anything? But right now, at this point of a time, sir, we can't see any kind of paperwork. Because Why? the old people say submit to the federal courthouse of Washington, D.C. Why All right? would it be there? Once, once, you can see, once we cancel a warrant, which is under your name, after that, we are able to provide you that information. So, right, like a paperwork, we're going to set them an no, appointment no, for you tomorrow. No, no, I want to see the paperwork first. I want to see no, the audit. I want to see the audit. Documentation. The what? Once you cancel your warrant, which is under your name, after that, we are able to provide you the paperwork. Because right now, there is a red I signal see on the, your... Uh, there's a red flag on me. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I want to see there the paperwork is, first. No, Mr. Plain, you about only one thing, sir. You, don't I, you try... I don't understand this. See, right now, uh, as I give you the option, which option is... Uh, better for you which option you like to go with mr defra can you help me out with that with inside the courthouse by getting arrested or outside the courthouse without getting arrested well i don't want to get arrested what the hell that's a stupid question sir only the option you have available for you right now so that's i'm providing you sir which is set up by the federal government so what is your intention sir how do you want to fix this problem can you help me out with your fair intention my fair intention is I don't want to get arrested, so I guess I'll pay it. I don't know. I don't know. No, but then, how, what if I? What? If, well, wait a minute. What if Ben and Jerry's is right? Do I get my money back? But suppose, sir, right now this is not about your money. All right. What do you this mean? This phone call is about. This so, phone call is about to capture your intention. That my your inten intention was clear. All right. Your intention was clear that you are not trying to defraud the government no, by. No, I'm not trying to defraud anybody. Just hold on the line, then. If you don't want to get arrested, I'm going to connect you. Call them higher authorities. Well, so they're going to help you out. Just, I hope right? he can help me have better than you can. Go ahead. Can I be their boss? Yes. Let me talk to the All boss. Right. What am I? This is not a boss, sir. I'm going to connect you. Call them a higher officer. A ah, higher it's officer. officer. Whatever the hell you want to call them. Put them on. Right. Put them on the phone. All right. All right. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred. We are speaking to Senior Investigation Officer Neil with the badge ID IR1988. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, Neil. How are you doing today? Great. Okay. So the officer was uh, just trying to explain you about the case which has been registered under your name. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Did you understand? Yeah. Yeah. He says, my, okay. my tax accountants made a mistake. And they're mm -hmm. going to arrest me for some fucking unknown reason. No, because the taxes were filed under your name, so if there would be any miscalculation, so yeah, you but I, yeah, but he said I couldn't even see the paperwork. I couldn't see the audit. I, I how, how how do I know it's not your fault, not my fault, or Ben and Jerry's so that's fault? A, so that's the reason. See, the officer must have gave you that there are two options. If you think so, that uh, everything is in place from your side, you can hire an attorney for yourself and you can fight this case I told him I, I, I don't have to hire an attorney. I got one on retainer. But he's talking about getting arrested first. Why should I have to get arrested first? No, see, I'll tell you what happened. See, if there's an arrest warrant issued against your name for tax evasion, so first your case, still your case is with IRS only. So if you give a statement, your case gets downloaded to your local sheriff department. You will be have to be in, start, in custody for next 48 hours. See, I, no, I'm not spending the whole fucking weekend in jail. I'll tell you that right now. I've been there. I've done that. I'm not doing it again. I understand that. So another option you have where you can resolve this case outside of the court. Okay, I'll resolve it. What am I got to do? So if you want to resolve this case yeah. outside of the court, there yeah. are certain protocols I what? which needs to be taken care of. Huh? And drug calls. Drug calls? I don't understand you. And uh, the amount what you owe? Do you know what amount you owe to the government right now? Don't you? I know. Do you know that? Yeah, I know. $4,985. I'll go with that. Sounds good to me. 
Uh, okay, so this mount is available with you in cash or do you have in your debit card or credit card? It's in the bank. The hell, I'm going to carry $4,900 around with me? In your bank. So it is in your uh, saving or check-in? Savings. Saving. Yeah. You, you need to transfer that amount to your check-in so that you can convert this amount into the electronic vouchers because you'll be registering the payment with the help of electronic vouchers. Do you Have you ever filed your taxes using electronic vouchers? I don't even do my taxes. I told you Ben and Jerry's does them. I don't know how to do that shit. Okay. So these are the electronic vouchers which you can get from any of the government certified stores. What the hell so is you that? Must be having the like, what the hell, is, what having the hell is a government certified store? Uh, these are the like Walmart. Do you have Walmart nearby your place? Well, you think I got a fucking Walmart. Everybody's got a Walmart. They're all over the fucking place. You trip over them. So how far is the Walmart from your place right now? The Walmart? I don't know. A couple of miles away. What the hell am I going to Walmart for? For converting this amount into the electronic voucher. Where am I going to get, the, are, am I gonna get the, you, Where am I going to get the money to convert to? I, I don't understand this. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. All what right. happened? You have, simply All right. you have to go to the Walmart and there would be a voucher, a kind of reloadable Walmart card. You have to put the amount in that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to keep those cards safely with you till Monday. Monday, there would be an appointment. You will be meeting up with the officer. Officer will be giving you all the paperwork. He will be conducting a counseling session to make you understand what was the mistake. How well, this he should came have up. a counseling session with Ben and Jerry, not with me. I don't even do them. Ain't gonna do no good to counsel me. See, you can be a part of that so that you can understand because the papers will be under your name so your signatures would be required well, you, you can do all the counseling you want with me and it's not going to do any good because they don't understand any of that shit okay no problem so would you like to register this amount through electronic vouchers or not yeah i don't care what where, what i got to do here you have to go to the walmart and you have to purchase the electronic where am i going to get the money to purchase these things don't you have money with you I told you it's in the bank. So you I must don't be have $4,900 with me. No, I'm saying you must be having a bank card or debit card with you. Yeah, I got a debit card. So you can purchase with the help of debit card. There's no problem in that. I can only because get $300 to... on my debit card. Okay, so that is the case. That's the case, toilet face. So how much you can spend in, in a day from your debit card? 300 What is the limit? 300 that you're saying right that's what he said and your bank is closed right now i think so right yeah it's closed and do you have any of your credit card do you use any kind of credit card no i don't even use them i don't even use credit cards everything's cash cash is king yeah, ca cash is king yeah, exactly. Cash is king. I, I, I totally agree with you. So you can do one thing. You can go and you can purchase one voucher of 300. What's okay? that going to do? What good is that going to do? I owe you 4,900. What good is 300 going to do? See, right now money is not important. What important is your intention. That's what the other guy said. If money's not important, why the fuck you calling me? Uh, I'm really sorry that uh, you are getting disturbed of this I am getting disturbed. Jesus no Christ. Problem. No problem. So, I mean, how, how many times in a day you get disturbed with such calls? Ah, oh, quite a bit. I get calls all the time. They want to lower my credit card rate. Ah, oh, Jesus. Social what? Security wants after me. Everybody's after me. Okay. So, did you got today any call from Social Security? No, not today. I got two yesterday. And how much do you pay to them? I, I had to give them $1,200. You paid $1,200 to the Social Security? Yeah. For what? Because they said I had to put in a safety lock or something because somebody used my Social Security card to rent a car in Texas, of all places. So you put 1200 in so in the security locker. Right. Okay. And now so you want sell. money. And now you want money. No, I don't. I don't want any of your money. Your hard-earned money. I don't want any of your money. Okay. And see, I'll suggest to you if you receive such ty such type of calls.
don't respond to those calls. So it will be not wasting your time and the people who are calling, their time will also save. So they can utilize this time with some other people so that so, they can earn some money. Try and understand. So they can, yeah, so, so, they can scam, so they can scam somebody else, right? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, see, people are working hard. They are, they are talking for a, a long fee. You right. have given one twelve. $1,200 to that the SSN people, the social security people, Right. you must be connected with that call for good one, one to two hours, right? Yeah. And the people are working hard. That that you trust that they are working hard? No, they're that not working you, hard. They're thieves, like you are. They're thieves. Fucking thieves. See, some people work hard, some people work smart. So we are the people with a smart worker. Yeah, you're the smart we, worker. Yeah, you're a fucking Einstein. You are stupid. No, no, not Einstein. Einstein was a great man. I believe so. He okay. was smart. You Einstein. said you were smart. You ain't smart. I knew, I knew this was a scam right off the bat. Come on, Ben Chod. So do you want to talk more? Or that's all. Can I hang up? Well, if you're going to go scam somebody else, I'll stay on the phone with you. If you, promise, if you promise not to scam anybody else, I'll hang up. Okay, today, for today, I, I'm not going to do for anyone. Done okay. for today. I take your word for it because you're an honest man. I got that. Okay. Goodbye, okay. Ben Chode. Goodbye. Goodbye.